Hey, hey. Got me a Johan Maxwell watch here. And I will go through it real quick. I picked this watch up a few days ago. I got it pretty quickly. I got it from uh, Teddy, I forget his last name, but uh, it, great customer service there. They shipped it, I literally got it. And uh, I think I ordered it on a Friday. It came FedEx on a Monday. But uh, here's how it came. Just a uh, sleeve here. The box is leatherish. Pretty nice box. The box inside is a softer leather filling stuff. Maybe leather, I'm not sure. Here's your instructions and stuff. Do not eat. Watch it's on this little guy. It's kind of a soft piece here, just like the inside of the case. Here's the watch. The strap on it. I believe the standard Max Bill has stitching along it. And it is a smooth leather. I prefer this one. I like the non-stitched with a little bit of a texture. And the hardware and the casing is not a shiny stainless, it's more of a uh, stone washed look to it, which I prefer. We got the kind of the minimalist face, which is what the Bauhaus model comes in with the red accents. And on this day in particular, the 24th, I thought it was a good day to do this because it shows off the font of the four. You can find this on the fourth and the 14th also. I can only find two videos on this particular model watch on YouTube. And on both of those, they did not have the date on a day falling on with a four on it. And this four is the font of, uh, it, it looks like the chair upside down, the famous Bauhaus chair. I think it's a, I believe it's a three-legged chair that uh, Max Bill also designed. So in some of the videos, people were speculating that they didn't think that the four was going to be of that font. So I thought it was important to show that it is. Like I said, the, the case is a stone washed look rather than a shiny. The back, rather than being solid like the standard one, has kind of a partial exhibition back with um, a picture of the Bauhaus building. And then uh, from what I've read, this, these were where the windows were. So you can see it's kind of a, a cool flare that the windows into the building show you the movement, which is a, I think they call it a J800, which is basically just the, the Swiss 2824-2. But I'm a big fan. I almost bought the the model with the sapphire. So this has a sapphire 
glass on it. They say it's less domed than the Plexi, but I've never had a Plexi, so I can't compare it. I think this is a pretty, pretty nice dome. But uh, they make a sapphire crystal version that has a solid back, shiny stainless, and it's got the hours and the minutes. And I'm actually drawn to that kind of a dial more. I almost bought that one instead. It was a little cheaper than this one. But ultimately, I have a good field watch. So I wanted something that kind of checked the box of a good um, dress watch. So I'm kind of glad this one, it really pops. So it's a 20 millimeter distance between the lugs. And um, one thing I really like about this watch that I was drawn to besides just the, the gorgeous simplicity of it is my wrists are, my, my left wrist is about six and three eighths to maybe six and a quarter. So I'll put on just so you can see what it looks like. Um, my, I have a problem with, sometimes when I find a watch I like, they're just too big and they, they look too large. This is a 38 millimeter face. 38 to 40 I think is good for my size wrist. And it's actually not too bad. I'm on the second to last, there's one hole covered here. So that's how it wears on the hand, on the wrist I suppose. And I'm a big fan. I uh, thought that it'd be nice to put this out with a little more detail on the number. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you like it, like the video, I hope this helps you in deciding if you did want one. That's gorgeous. I'm really happy with this. I've been kind of just wearing it around the house to break in the strap to get it loosened up a little bit more. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment if you have any questions or about it. All right, thanks for watching.